y'all. It's Miss Key. <clears throat> Journey of the Word, Ministry, Song of Every Name Known to God. My voice is horrible. It's been that way for maybe a little over a week, so excuse me. Um, but I just wanted to jump on here and talk out my thoughts. Um, it's been a very stressful, trying time financially, physically, emotionally. Um, <clears throat> a lot of it has been bad decisions. Some of it has been, uh, you know, just life happening. Some of it has been from decisions that were made a long, long time ago. Um, <clears throat> and the reason that I'm saying this is because a lot of us go through things or suffer the consequences of things or reap what we sow and we expect that we should have done something last week or or else we're innocent so if I didn't do something last week or last month like if I didn't do something recently to cause this <clears throat> that we're not the problem that it's the devil or if it's, some, it's somebody else but in actuality we really do need to weigh all of our decisions and all of our choices because the decisions you make in your entirety affects everything and everyone. We're all connected in unity. Um, <clears throat> the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, one body of Christ. Uh, we're all working together for the greater good. That's why Romans 8 and 28 tells us that um, God will work everything for the greater good of those who love him and live according to his word. The living according to his word part is harder than loving him. I believe we naturally love him when we first come into existence until we allow corruption of the word and the flesh. And that corruption becomes a little bit more easier because it's harder to live according to his word. It's harder to be obedient to the request that he makes of us in life. <clears throat> so once we start making those final decisions or even smaller decisions, we think in the moment, we think what's the quickest result, the fastest way to get what we want or what we need at this moment, and we fail to realize that what we should have done was to weigh all of our options and weigh them in a manner in which, um, how would God perceive this, what would God think, how would God say, um, say, how would he how would he measure our actions? Um, would they affect someone else around us? Would they affect us later? Is it going, is all of the options or consequences a, a good option no matter what? Are we gambling and taking a chance with ourselves or with others? Are we taking a chance with someone's feelings, someone's emotions? Are we making a decision so quickly and so hastily that five years down the line we're going to be suffering the consequences of it? That we're going to be have to clean up the mess we make. We need to start thinking about that because most of the time we're getting in God's way because we won't align ourselves with His Word or living with His Word. We a lot of people will say, "Oh, He ain't got God ain't got to do with everything. God got to do with everything, baby, every single thing." Um, it doesn't deny you life. It doesn't deny you enjoyment. It doesn't deny you pleasure. It doesn't deny you any of those things because God wants you to have an abundance greater than what you can desire. So if he's telling you this and he's telling you to live according to his word, he wants you to apply his principles. And let's just imagine for a second that you don't ignore it, how glorious things will end up for you, how wonderful they will be. Now in reality though, we bend here a little bit to accommodate the next person's feelings or not want to offend them in that manner or we've been because we feel the pressures of the world and we want an immediate answer. We don't have time to do it the right way. We just need the right result. And we don't realize that that can snowball into hell on earth for us. But it won't be the devil. It won't be people hating you. It will be you and your bad decisions that you're paying for or not. 
And not all decisions that we make, we do we don't make them with bad intention, just trying to get over. But we don't weigh the principles of God on them. What I mean by weighing the principles of God, we don't think about <clears throat> his wants and desires for us and for others on those decisions and the possibility of them. We only think about self. God is not about self. <clears throat> We don't. We think about our flesh and nothing else. Um, I'm actually running out of space and I'm in time. So what I would ask of you is to please take a moment and realize that your decisions could affect you next week, next month, next year, 10 years from now. And even though it's easier to just go with the flow, I'd ask you to apply the principles of God, get in relationship with him, talk to him, let him guide you. That way, when you do make a bad decision, at least it'll be aligned with his word. It'll be just not the right decision for that moment. Not, it's just not the right decision for a soul that's gaining 